DJ Hats. What's going on guys, DJ Hess here and I'm bringing you another Gears of War 3 video. It's been a while, but this one is from the new map pack that was released today. And I'm showing you um, a map called Rust Lung and something kind of fun. Uh, you can actually get the uh, silverback in the multiplayer map uh, Rust Lung. And the way to unlock it, I'm sure, that's I'm sure what you guys came here to uh, to see. So, see these, these green buttons right here? Um, these actually don't do shit. Uh, you can see that the, it... It lifts those little rocket bay things up, um, one on each side, and uh, and then they you can push it again and they go back down. Unfortunately, those actually have nothing to do with the uh, getting the silver back. And listen to this right here, real quick. Silverback stage one complete. So as you heard, silverback stage one complete. Now what uh, did that basically? If you look at the score, it was 120-ish. And that's about half of the score of the the total score of this King of the Hill match. So basically, once you hit half of the score, it's just like the other maps. Random shit unlocks, and this is one of those things that unlocks. You go over to this area right here. You push the button, and up comes the uh, the infamous Silverback. So th that's all you have to do to unlock it. You don't push the green buttons. You don't have to go find any hidden secrets. No Easter eggs. You just wait for half the game to come through, and then the Silverback unlocks. Um, and, and the reason why I'm showing you this is because I was running around just playing uh, King of the Hill uh, on a private match against bots just because I'm trying to to, to build my stats up so I can um, do some horde stuff. But basically, um, that's what I was doing and I, I kept hearing the shit getting unlocked and I didn't know what it was. So I fast forward it and I'm showing you again Silverback in action now in a, m a multiplayer game. And I, I'm, again, I'm just playing against bots so uh, it's nothing crazy but it's... Uh, it's ridiculous what you can do with this this thing. I don't even know how you would kill this this thing in the game. Um, I'm assuming there's maybe some weapons on the map that you could probably use, but uh, but it takes a lot of firepower and these things are pretty goddamn strong. So, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys this is what happens. Uh, that's the other thing. I don't know if you guys knew of uh, if you anchor down like right here, you uh, you can actually shoot the rockets in uh, multiplayer. In Horde, now they finally unlocked the rockets as well, but uh, but y you have to do a little bit of work, and I'm still trying to unlock them because it's past level two uh, of of the uh, the silverback that you have to get. But check that out. He threw the the rocket through there. It kind of reminds me of Call of Duty shooting a noob tube or something in there, but it's just ridiculous. Uh, it's not really really it's not really fair having one of these things in the game. But so in my opinion, having a silverback in. Uh, in a multiplayer map will either make or break uh, the map because either people are going to be super pissed when uh, other people get the, the silver back or whatever I, I don't really know all I know is it's going to be loved or hated very very uh, extreme on one end or the other so um, anyway I found it entertaining my, my initial thoughts on the new map packs are uh, they're fun the uh, I mean it, it kind of breathes new life into the game a little bit definitely got me throwing the game back into uh, my Xbox and uh, checking it out before Call of Duty 3, Modern Warfare 3 comes out, but the new map packs are great. The new upgrades on Horde, I, I hear, are awesome, but that's the part, the problem. It takes so much goddamn work to unlock them that uh, that's what I'm going to be trying to do. So, um, Look back on my channel. If you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe. And I do have a lot of other Gears 3 tips. Check my playlists, and there's a lot of Gears of War uh, gameplay and uh, some tips and tricks from, from Horde and whatnot, some Beast Mode. Um, some multiplayer games in there as well, but uh, but yeah, nothing too too crazy in this game. I'm just showing you guys how uh, how to use the silverback a little bit, or the fact that you can even use it in a multiplayer game. Hopefully, you guys found this useful. I have checked YouTube, and I haven't seen any of their games in it. So hopefully, this is the first one that that makes it. And uh, hit that like button if you guys like this video. And again, please subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you guys uh, want to see more uh, tips and tricks, again. Uh, I'll be posting a bunch in the next couple days. As soon as I unlock the rest of the Horde shit, as soon as I unlock the uh, the Silverback with the rockets in Horde, it will be awesome. I'm um, looking forward to that. There's some Sentry Guards, or the Guards, I guess, that uh, that you can unlock as well. And there's a nice little double. Um, and uh, I, I don't even know what the fuck I'm, I'm babbling about here. Um, you guys will just check, check back and see, and I'll, I'll have hopefully all of the different unlocks that you can have. Um, soon. So, uh, with that said, I'm just gonna let you guys watch the rest of this uh, little gameplay and just show you how uh, how 
this silverback is just ridiculous. So hopefully you guys will have fun playing this map pack. It's worth the 10 bucks in my opinion. It's, I mean, it's only $10, $10 and uh, you get um, three new maps, three new characters, lots of upgrades and, and, uh, and whatnot in horde mode as well. So anyway, have a good day, guys, and we will uh, catch you guys later. Thanks.